Anyway, let's go to hot and cold <laughs> since though we're not getting any type of respect here. I can slip up Jack ain't gonna come out and play with you. No. <laughs> no. All right, so let's talk hot and cold. And we did get some feedback. You somebody said they wanted us to keep these shorter. So we're gonna hit these like ah ah ah. We're gonna hit them like we this is gonna be straight Sahudo Dillashaw type hit. <laughs> Bam. It's quick, it's out. All right, Cameron Reddish, how to cold. Warm, hot, talented guy. He's in a tough situation being a young player that he is on a very, very talented squad. It's not just Zion and RJ Barrett. They have from a college on a college level, they have a lot of good players. Um, the only thing I don't I would like to see him develop his individual skills because he's gonna have to be an NBA wing when he grows up. And I don't want to see him be Otto Porter. Mm-hmm. Um, but even with that, I mean, if his ceiling is a consistent Otto Porter. There's a lot of teams that can use that right now. So uh, Oklahoma City Thunder would love a guy like him. And if you have a place in the league, I'm all about it. I don't think he's tops, but warm hot as an NBA player. Yeah, um, I, I would probably say I'm in the same area. I, I, I do worry about him um, not developing his, 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 his ability to uh, kind of take over. Uh, an offense and get his own offense because I think he's athletic and long enough to be more than a spot up shooter, but I think he's positioning himself to that's the role he's kind of fallen into. And um, I think he could be more than that. Now, I don't know if he's, you know, you never know. He could be working on that constantly on his own, you know, and, and, and he, I'm sure he probably knows that he has advisors and people are telling him that. But, you know, from what we see, that's something that, you know, I would say is probably a little a little bit of a concern. So I would definitely say I'm right there with you kind of more warm on him. Um, I, I love the I love the stroke, though, on the shot. I, I really do. Uh, and I love his feel, especially baseline when he drives baseline. He has a really good feel, uh, really good touch on reverse layups and that sort of thing. And it's long. I think he has a high ceiling as a wing defender. So, um, um, yeah, and, you know, he's coming from a, a, a program where defending on the perimeter is 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 a priority. So Defense um, is the key. If he becomes an NBA defender, he'll be fine. Yeah, he'll be fine, especially, I mean, you know, with any level of offensive talent, if you're a def uh, NBA defender, you're, you're, you're going to be fine. You're going to yeah. be fine. Pocket, I'll be weak. I'm rather unique. <laughs>